Um, but it's a weird thing that's going on in America and just yeah. the world is that, you know, you, I call it the MTV generation, right? Because, you know, it's all about balling and, and having the big fancy cars. And so I think it's seeped into um, regular America society, that, that mindset of, oh, I have to have the Louis Vuitton purse and not me personally, but, you know, you got to be driving the, the fancy cars and the big house and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And you think people would have learned their lesson after the whole crash of 2008, 2009 and all that kind of stuff. But what's your experience? Are, are people just... Do they quickly forget or did they, was there a good impact that kind of happened out of that? I think we quickly forgot because um, yeah. the debt is horrendous. I, you know, the student loan debt right now is is the biggest burden on people's back and yeah. something has to be done about that. I was meeting with a client the other day who makes decent money. Mm -hmm. um, she has $400,000 in student loan debt. I mean that, so student loan insane. debt is huge. Um, couple that with, um, we are in a rat race to keep up with the Jones and look great and have the name brands, everything. Um, so it does, people live beyond their means, not yeah. even below their means. And so, uh, what I love about when you go through Dave Ramsey, you're kind of all doing it together, the financial piece. And it's almost like a contest. Who can buy the cheapest pair of shoes? <laughs> you know what I mean? Who can um, learn how to buy clothing that works and, and is cheap? Yeah. And so, and then once you get there, once you achieve financial peace, you're out of debt and you're meeting some goals and, and dreams that are important to you and your family, then you can splurge. Yeah. Um, but it, it should be planned and on purpose and on paper, I think. You should uh, live like no one else, so later on you could live like no one else. Is that how he says it? Exactly, okay. yeah. Uh, if you don't know who we're talking about, Dave Ramsey is uh, a very fascinating character, very um, wise. He teaches you about money the way that Grandma and God talks about money. Exactly. Is that what he said? Yep. Yeah. So I'm trying to think. It's been a few years since I went through the program. Um, I should probably go through it again. I think, <laughs> I think it's a good refresher for everybody to go through. Uh, but Dave Ramsey just has that good sound wisdom about finances and it really makes a huge difference it does and you see so many people that are just barely holding on and you know the whole student loan debt i agree i see so many people you know because i i don't get too much into people's finances because it's more on the lender side of things right. but still i see so many people get blown out of the water because of their student loan debt they can't qualify for a loan you yeah. know what i mean because they're just buried um and I think as parents, we need to start thinking about that a little bit more. Yeah. Um, if you have a military grant and if your kid goes to school in California and you're a military, that could be for free. And I have so many parents that are like, oh, my kid wants to go to New York. They shouldn't. <laughs> they shouldn't go to New York. It's free in California. Wow. Um, community college is great resource for a couple of years. And never, you know, your degree says Cal State San Marcos. It doesn't say community college. So. Yeah. Um, there's different resources and different ways to go about college. But I think as parents, we need to start thinking about that for our kids as well. Well, I think that goes back to the whole keeping up with the Joneses. Well, my kid goes to UCLA. Well, my kid goes to US, whatever, <laughs> and, you know. And um, I remember when I was going into college, I was gonna, about to go to Cal State Fullerton and how proud everybody was because I was going to a good Cal State school or whatever. Yeah. And it's like I had no desire. Like, and I don't think I even made it a few weeks. And I, I chose a different path, more of the entrepreneurial, you know, I was selling dickweed shirts at the time, so that was kind of my backstory. <laughs> awesome. But, uh, you know, everybody has their own path, and sometimes college isn't for everybody. Yeah. And, um, you know, I think if you have that drive, and especially with technology the way it is nowadays, uh, and I don't want to downplay or discredit college by any means, but at the same time, I think there are so many more routes sure. to, to be successful. has to be the successful. right fit. Yeah, because why take on $400,000 worth of student loan debt to go get a fifty thousand dollar a year job when yeah. you graduate. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. So that's just my two cents. Uh,